Well, the Summerlin Festival of Arts is back. It's now in its 26th year. So this weekend, come on out to the lawn at downtown Summerlin and appreciate work from over 100 artists. I mean, we're talking oil paintings, watercolor, pottery, sculpture, <laughs> photography, glass, jewelry, and literally that's just the beginning. Mm -hmm. Jenny Pivato is the marketing director with Summerlin. She is here to bring fall vibes and tell us all about this very, very creative show this weekend. We're so excited for this. We're pretty excited too. Yeah. Um, it's actually one of my favorite fall events in Las Vegas. It's been Aww. around, like you said, for 26 years. And this year we have more than 100 artists that'll be on the lawn selling fine art. They are all juried in, so they have all crossed that mark to get into the show. Got it. It gets a little bit competitive. Um, mm -hmm. In addition to fine art, we have a lot of family friendly activities this year. So the Las Vegas Review Journal will be there with some really wonderful character art for kids. Discovery Children's Museum is doing some cool salt dough ornaments for kids. Mm -hmm. And we even believe in bringing engineering and science into our into our festival. So you'll see the UNLV School of Engineering doing science activities as well as the National Association of Land Surveyors teaching kids activities that get them into land surveying a little bit early. Um, oh goodness, other amazing things that we have going. Up and coming artists from Alexander Dawson, Bishop Gorman, and the Meadow School. So high school students can be showing off their cool art skills that they've all been learning all year. And new this year, I'm excited to say that we have a Southern Nevada Paiute and Friends District throughout mm. the Dining Arroyo. I saw that. So yeah, that's going to be. Tell me a little be... bit about what like that entails. Because it, it, it is a celebration of the art of, of the Southern Paiute? It is a celebration of art of Southern mm. Paiute and Nuwu Art and Friends. So uh, Native American art and some folk art, some fine art. Mm -hmm. We'll also have three different dance troops who are doing Native American dancing throughout the day, mm. demonstration both days. Uh, and it's, it's really a celebration of art and culture this year. Yeah, and can you kind of tell us a little bit about the art you brought here? I mean, this is all so beautiful and such different types of art. So what do you kind of have on display for us here? So what we have here is photography by Bill Kutcher and Rebecca Waples who does jewelry um, mm. and porcelain, I yeah. know a lot of people think. And then behind me is Nikki Sands, which is canvas art, so oil painting. They're all beautiful and, and people have their, their mediums that they love the most. I happen to really appreciate photography. Um, and I, uh, you know, nature photography is something else. This I would say was probably taken in Utah, perhaps, I feel like photo. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that it is the Narrows. We'll have to yeah. ask Bill. It I'm sure we like can find him Saturday and Sunday. Exactly, and that's one of the most amazing things about shopping at a festival like this is that you get to meet the artists, you know, uh, front-facing. And so you go home not only with this great piece of art, but with a story and a little bit of background about how it was created. 100%. Right. I, I love the art that I've bought at the festival in past years. I love being able to tell my friends when they cover, hey, what's the story on that one? And there is yeah. a backstory on every piece of art. Very cool. And I also understand that you have like some science activities and other things that people can do, especially for the kids, because you know, the kids can get distracted so easily. Yes, the kids get <laughs> distracted easily. So while you're exploring the art, we have the children's activities that'll be under the pavilion as well as the farmer's market. Mm. So a lot Whoa. to do that takes you throughout the entire center. Oh, and <laughs> let's not forget there's also a classic car show on Saturday oh. until two o'clock. So plenty to explore, plenty to see. There's a little bit of art in everything. So yes. really all we need to know is that we need to head west to downtown Summerlin yes. this weekend, find a spot and there's literally something for everybody. Yes. I, I can't believe how many things are going on at once. Um, I, I'd like to take the camera again back to the painting behind you because it's so beautiful and there's so many vibrant colors in it. And we, like you said, we're celebrating fall this time of year. Um, but is that a watercolor? What do you know about this? piece by Nikki Sands. I believe that this one is oil. Mm. So it's oil paint. Okay. Yes. Man. And just to clarify, there's no fee to go to this, right? People can just roll up? There is no fee. And Love yes, it. you can roll oh, up. So okay. it's free yes. and open to the public. Please come join us. You're even welcome to bring your pets as long as they're on a leash. Ah. So something for everybody. Love it. Thank you. And it's great. It's so fun when you're going into an event like this to be able to bring the dog along because otherwise yes. you leave them home and they want to come with you so badly. Yeah. Yes. Um, so that's great. Um, uh, now, do a lot of the vendors sell a lot of what is at their booth? Uh, 
Some sell more than others. Yeah. So I, the last few years we've had really good turnout. The artists have been quite pleased. And that's why you'll see several artists that have been there before and some that are new to the show. show. And mm -hmm. when they have a good weekend, we all have a good weekend. Definitely. It's exactly. a good mix. Uh, you mentioned earlier that we have a variety of different uh, mediums mm -hmm. in the mix. Mm -hmm. And part of that is to encourage people to you know, find what it is that really speaks to them. I'll tell you what always seems to speak to me, jewelry. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll be all over those necklaces, those earrings, that's where you'll find me, guys. Uh, the 26th Annual Festival of the Arts takes place at the Lawn at Downtown Summerlin. Parking is free and available throughout the shopping center. It's happening this Saturday and Sunday, October 8th and 9th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m.